Hey guys, welcome to Living Life with Rick and Jerry. In this video, I'm going to show you how we make our brown sugar pineapple glazed ham that uh, we usually get from Sam's Club and Costco. This is the finished product here, but uh, just stay tuned. We're going to be making the, the ham right now. I'll show you step by step of what I do to make my ham. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hi guys, this is going to be a quick, easy recipe on how to make a pineapple brown sugar glazed ham and with a touch of honey. This is all from Members Mark, uh, so Sam's Club, if you guys know that store. It's the same thing as Costco, same same things. So you're gonna need a can of uh, pineapple uh, rings. You can use the other chunks, but I like the rings better because you don't need that many toothpicks to keep the pineapple on the hand. I do need clothes, but I we ran out of clothes and it's too late to go to the market right now, but you don't need it. So if you wanted to, you don't need clothes. It's all up to you. So you need a can of pineapple, sliced you need a cup of brown sugar a little bit of dash of honey and your ham from from this members mark or sam's club or costco they all pretty much have the same thing this is a bone-in ham very cheap this, is, this ham was 13 bucks and it also comes with a ham glaze but we're not going to be using that we're going to be using our own glaze we're, we're going to be making it in-house but basically it's just two ingredients and maybe a dash of salt, maybe a teaspoon of salt. So, let's get to it. Let's open this baby up. All right, guys, so I just took it out of the packaging. See, there it is. This is already pre-sliced, pre-cut, and everything. All you got to do is just open it up. And uh, that's why I like going to Costco and Sam's Club for my hams because it's just so easy to make. So, in case you guys want to make this for your Christmas or Thanksgiving dinner. So, let's get a knife and open this up. So, you guys, just going to cut this open. Real easy, real easy to do this this uh, holiday dinner and stuff. Obviously, we're gonna be having holiday dinner early because we gotta make the video. Boom. Alright guys, so I just took it out of the packaging. Uh, we have to remove this plastic thing on the bottom. See it right here? This usually is in these packaged, packaged hams. And what I like about these hams that come from Sam's Club and Members Mark or you know Costco is that they're already pre-sliced. So they're really easy to cook. They're already cooked, so you can eat this right off the bat. But uh, we gotta glaze this baby. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this baby in this pan here. We're just gonna lay it just like that. And if you wanted to, you can cut all, all this extra fat that's on the ham. I'm gonna leave it in because I like the little extra juiciness from the ham. Uh, all I'm gonna do now is basically insert the pineapple onto the ham. And that's gonna come up next. Alrighty guys, so now we're gonna be making the actual glaze. So just gonna get a little saucepan, this is real tiny. We're gonna put it on very low heat because we don't want it to burn. So put it on low heat and we're basically gonna get our can of pineapple juice or the juice from the pineapple can. And we're gonna pour this thing into the container here. The whole thing. All right. And then we're just gonna add our brown sugar. But first we're gonna let this warm up. Let me get some salt now. So we're gonna need some salt. I'm gonna use like about a teaspoon or so. Okay, teaspoon, not not much, just a little bit to give it that flavor. And we're gonna be doing some brown sugar on this baby. All right guys, so it's already starting to boil. Uh, we're gonna turn down the heat even more. We're gonna put it real, real low. And uh, we're just gonna be adding our brown sugar now. And then we're gonna be stirring it as we're gonna be adding it. already smells very good the pineapple and the brown sugar very sweet and then the last thing we got to do we're gonna put in like about a, maybe a tablespoon of honey so let's do that that's good and the reason why you want to have this like almost boiling is because Obviously, 
you want to melt down the sugars so that way they can be all combined into one nice little liquid because you're going to be using this liquid to cover that ham every maybe every half hour or so you're going to be reglazing it over and over So that's how it's gonna look. All right, so now let's move on to the ham and uh, we're gonna be putting the pineapple in the ham. All right guys, so you're gonna be setting your oven to, uh, I'm gonna set it to about 300 degrees. You can set it lower if you like, but 300 degrees, yeah, that's all you need. All righty guys, so now we got the ham into the container. We're gonna be adding our pineapple slices onto the ham. And this is re very easy. You're just gonna need some toothpicks. I already cut mine down to size. And you're just gonna be attaching the, basically the toothpick to the ham and just set it in there. Very easy. So now we're gonna get another pineapple slice, jab the toothpick in there. If you want, you can use more. You know, up to you if you have you can put a maraschino cherry in there if you have it you don't have to put it but it'll make it even sweeter we don't have any maraschino cherries so we're not going to be using them and the maraschino cherries you're going to be putting them in the middle and one over here A little bit too much, too much power, too much. I'm gonna flip it over. And again, I'm gonna continue the whole pineapple thing. There we go. There's another slice right over here. Might add another one to this one here, just to keep it from falling. Add as much as you want. So, you know, it's up to you, totally up to you how much pineapple you're gonna use. I think this is gonna be the last slice for me here. I'm gonna put another toothpick down here. Just to keep that one from falling. And just like that, it's ready to roll. All right, guys, so now that I got my pineapple on the ham, I got my glaze ready to roll and we're gonna be dripping it right over this ham and you're just going to pour it right over don't be shy just let it just let it accept the juices it'll say mm, thank you thank you for this warm bath it's going to be so good guys trust me <laughs> you hear the ambulance in the back. So once you poured all the juice in, uh, I think I'm gonna shove my ham to the side. It's gonna be here, just like that. And then this will give me a little pool. So when I come back and glaze it, I can come back and use that little pool so I can get my juices back to glaze the ham. All right, so now that I have my oven, I have my oven preheating, we're gonna wrap this baby up first in foil, and we're gonna cook it like that. We're gonna cook it with the foil for approximately about an hour or so, and then for the last half hour, because you're gonna be doing 15 minutes for every pound. This is a six pound ham. So what is that? Uh, 45 minutes, 45 plus 45, that's uh, an hour and 30 minutes. So, yeah guys, so uh, an hour and 30 minutes for this ham, uh, the first hour in the oven, 
covered and then the last half hour it's going to be uncovered so that way we can crisp up all this pineapple on the outside and it's going to be delicious so let's go ahead and do that all righty guys so now that we have it all glazed up and ham or pineapple ready we're going to be putting this in the oven we're going to cover it lightly with some aluminum foil not too crazy just just enough to keep some of the moisture in and to keep the uh, ham from overcooking on the edges. So again, uh, this ham is a six pound ham. It takes about 15 minutes per pound. 15 minutes per pound, six pound ham, that's an hour and 30 minutes. And that's how long it's gonna be in the oven. I'm gonna be having it covered cooking for the first hour, uh, covered, and then after the after the hour, I'm gonna take it off and let it cook for another 30 minutes without any foil over it. And the, the reason why is because we wanna get that outer layer crispy, those pineapples nice and crispy, and it's ready to go. So uh, our oven is ready, so let me uh, put this in the oven. Alrighty guys, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cover this real quick. Still cooking, but we need to glaze this baby. You can do this in the oven, but for the video, I'm going to take it out so I can show you what I'm doing. So this is like every 15 minutes or so, taking it out and dropping the glaze on the ham. Dropping all the glaze. So once I drop the glaze on it, put the uh, aluminum foil back on there. This thing is still pretty piping hot. The tray is on fire. Alright, cool. So now let's put this baby back in the oven. Alright guys, so it's been about an hour and 15 minutes. I kind of left it a little bit longer in there because uh, the ham was a little bit cold. So right now what I'm doing is, again, I'm, I'm just putting the that glaze again. The juices. I'm gonna throw it back in there without the cover, and then this is gonna turn nice and glazed like. So, back in the oven for another 30 minutes. Alrighty, guys, so this is our finished ham here. As you can see, the pineapple has, has been caramelized right on the top. This part right here is actually kind of kind of burnt, but this thing is ready to go. Uh, it took about, again, like an hour and a half, and I kept on re-glazing it and re-putting the juices on top. But this thing is ready to go, and it's time to have ourselves a little, a little feast. So I hope you can join us. So I'm gonna cut it from here. I move these uh, pineapples out of the way. Take out these toothpicks. So I'm gonna cut it right here. Man, guys, this thing is juicy and it's delish. Look how easy that is to cut. Man. So you're gonna end up with this type of ham. I'm not gonna touch it with my hand because this thing is still boiling hot. So, see the outside? Nice and brown and crispy on the outside. And then the inside, nice, tender, juicy meat. So uh, we're gonna have ourselves a little feast right now. Let's go.
Alrighty guys, so we just finished making the ham. You tell me, that thing looks delicious. Now this thing is made to look pretty, obviously, because Jerry, uh, you know, that's her, her magic. But uh, let's go ahead and give this uh, ham a taste test. The reason why I like these hams is they're so tender uh, and you don't really have to worry about, you know, undercooking it. Because obviously everything's already cooked. So uh, all you're doing is flavoring the ham on the outside by using that uh, pineapple uh, brown, brown sugar glaze. So uh, let's have a taste. Mmm. Mmm. And then you got the pineapple. Oh man. You see, you got that saltiness from the ham. You got that sweetness from the pineapple. You got the brown sugar. A little bit of honey in there. And this thing is very. It's sweet, but it's so good. It's so tasty. Like, I could eat like. I could eat like a whole six pounds of this. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. That's good. I'm ruining uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas for me. Because uh, my mom makes this. I, f I feel like my mom makes it a hundred times better than me, but that's because she has, um, I don't know. She has that magic, you know, that touch, that love, you know. Got some Brussels sprouts going. Some mashed potatoes. It's like Thanksgiving before Thanksgiving. So yeah, guys, if you guys want to make this, hop on over to Sam's Club or Costco. Pick one of these spiral hams up. Can't go wrong. So good. Alrighty, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.